Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This video is going to be the first of a few concerning PowerShell and Linux. It's something that uh, has interested me for, for a bit, and so I figured I would take the time and dive into it in some and share with you uh, what, what I discover in the process. Before I go in, I want to um, remind you, if you enjoy the content of the video, make sure you click like, also subscribe and ring the bell when you do, so you can be aware of when new content comes available. And don't hesitate to leave comments. Feel free to ask me questions. I, I get to them as, as I can and as I have a actual answers to them. And don't hesitate to uh, put in the comments some content that you would like to see. You know, I, I, a lot of the videos that I've done are, are of interest to me, and, and I think, you know, being an IT professional, there are other IT pros out there that, that might find some use of it. But if there's a particular thing that interests you as one of my viewers, you know, put that in the comments that, that you'd like to have some videos on it. And a, as I have time, I'll add that to my list of stuff to dive into. So the first thing we're going to start out with is CentOS 8. I'm also going to um, show you how to do this on Ubuntu uh, 2010. I don't typically use Ubuntu and Debian flavored um, Linux that much. Not that there's anything wrong with it or I dislike them, but a lot of my studies and such have been about RHEL. So that's why you have the CentOS 8 desktop here. So the instructions that I'm going to be going through, you can find on Microsoft's website. If you're just, you know, Google Windows Linux install, that'll take you to a docs.microsoft.com page. And you can see all of the stuff that I am doing for this. So for CentOS, Basically, what we're going to be doing is adding the repo for Microsoft and then installing PowerShell from it. So the link we're going to be using, and we're going to curl this, HTTPS packages Microsoft com slash config slash rel 7 prod.repo. This is where, where it is at. And if you were to just curl that URL, what you're going to get is the um, content of what you actually have in a um, yum repo file. So from the site, what it has you do is curl that, pipe it, sudo t, and we're going to create a repo document for that. So yum.repos.d, and according to the documentation of Microsoft, we're just going to call it microsoft.repo. And we'll feed it sudo password. And I got it on the first time. Awesome. Any of you that have um, that have been around for my other Linux videos, you know I, I'm notorious for fat fingering my sudo password for my little lab VMs, but got it the first time. That means it's going to be a good one. One thing to take note of, even though this is CentOS 8, I'm using the RHEL 7 repo for this, and I'll show you why in just a bit. So now that this repo is here and it is enabled, which is what, what you have here, um, you'll be able to have access to it. And if you were to just do yum repo, pretty sure it's repo list, should show up. Yep, that is the uh, packages-microsoft-com-prod. And then from here, you're simply going to install PowerShell. So I'll do, I'll do sudo dnf install PowerShell. You can do dash y if you want, but I wanted to show you the things that are going to come with it. And it is simply PowerShell. That's it. So why to install? This will take just a few seconds or so. And you will usually need to tell it, yes, you trust the GPG key and that you want to import it. And that's it. So to start PowerShell, PWSH, and you're now in PowerShell. And if you're curious, you can um, look at the PS version table variable. You can see the uh, PowerShell version 7.1 is the core edition. I'm not going to go into a lot of, of what to do with PowerShell. The goal of this video was just to um, to show you how to install it, but that is really it. The thing that I did want to show you though, since we're on RHEL or CentOS 8 for this, I was curious to see what we would have if we use the CentOS 8 repo, because they or RHEL, RHEL 8 repo, because they do have one for that. So, this is the RHEL 7, and you can see all the stuff that's in here. There's the .NET Core stuff, and if you scroll down, it's probably mice type. Let me see if I can zoom this in some for you. There we go. And if you scroll down, you'll eventually find all the PowerShell stuff. If you were to do RHEL 8, 
which this is a valid repo. Much to my sadness, there is no PowerShell. So I'm not sure when this will be added to RHEL 8, hopefully soon, but I would imagine they don't necessarily want to store it in, in two different places since both will be using that uh, PowerShell version 7.1. So here I have Ubuntu 2010. This is just a, a real basic install of this, and its instructions are a bit different. You have instructions specific for 2004, which is the, the, the LTS. I might do another video at some point showing that, but um, I'm choosing 2010 just because if you're doing this on your workstation, you're, you're probably going to be using a more, more current um current distro for your workstation. But for 2010, you would be using Snap for this. Now, I'm not super familiar with Snaps. I, I, I know the concept behind it, but to install PowerShell, basically you will Snap, install PowerShell. Now doing this, you'll feed it your uh, credentials. It will complain when you do this, and it's gonna say you need to use dash dash classic. So we will do that. It takes it just a moment or so, and with that, PowerShell is there. And just like with CentOS, PWSH will launch PowerShell. Famous last words, will, I should have said should, right? And so now we're in PowerShell, and if I were to do PS version table, we see that it is also 7.1.0 in core. One thing I didn't show on the CentOS side that I want to show you here, uh, if I were to do who am I, you see that you're as, or I'm as my user account, Eddie. If I were to do sudo pwsh, and do who am I, you will obviously be root for that. So in other videos, I'll dive in a bit and, and show you kind of how PowerShell functions in Linux. The thing to remember is, you know, shell environment is literally just that. I mean, you know, this is basically PowerShell on Linux. It doesn't mean that you necessarily have access to all of the Windows programs that, that you can evoke with PowerShell, but just the shell itself is there. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure you click like, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell when you do, and don't hesitate to leave me a comment, ask questions. I'll answer as best I can. And also, if there, there are other uh, particular IT topics that you would like to to see some content about, make sure you put that in the, the comments as well. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you the next time.